Google announced last year that they're going to deprecate third-party cookies. They were supposed to go away this year, but they moved it back to sometime in 2023. A replacement for third-party cookies, Flock Federated Local Cohort, or I can't remember. <laughs> Does it, it doesn't matter. It, it's a <laughs> surveillance. So whether you call it topics, whether you call it fledge, <laughs> flock, it's all surveillance. Okay. Well, their initial replacement was this flock thing that failed. Then they started going with this topics in fledge. And already DuckDuckGo is giving you the option of having all that stuff blocked. Why are they getting pushed back every time they try to come out with something? Google is realizing that people care for privacy. They are now trying to be so-called privacy friendly by introducing new ways of, of tracking you without tracking you, at least so they say. The fact that Google is trying so hard tells me that the privacy message is resonating. Particularly, I like Apple's stance against privacy abuse. Google also notices that I think 80% of them of users or 90% of the users had op- or opted out of tracking. Users are sending a clear message out there. Google has to change some of these and they are trying to make attempts to at least be a little privacy friendly or appear privacy friendly. I commend Dr. Go. I think they were one of the earlier ones who blocked Flock. And I expect Bla- Brave also to come in and and block topics or fledge or any other things. Any privacy-centric browser should block various ways of uh, hidden hidden tracking. I like the development that the privacy-centric browsers and the tools are keeping the advertisers or ad, ad platforms on their toes. 80% of Apple iPhone users decided that they didn't want to be tracked. I think it sent a really strong message. I think that they're they're moving in a good direction. I mean, topics will rather analyze your browser history within your browser. It won't send your history out of the browser, which you know allows them to analyze it and then share it with third parties. So it's a move in the right direction. But I think what they've done with this DuckDuckGo extension is it's for people that just want to say no to tracking outright. 